Hello viewers, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Today we are adding a video in the meshing series. In this video, we will talk about why physics controlled mesh is better option or it is the best option to go ahead with for the first instance. If it doesn't work, you have multiple customized mesh option. But the first thing we, you should go ahead with is your physics controlled mesh. And we will elaborate this in this video. Before we go to the technical discussion, I would like to say if you have any research query related to ComSol Multiphysics Simulation, you can write to us in the email ID given in the description box. I will be happy to collaborate. I will try to assist you in modeling your physics. So let us go to today's discussion. So we go ahead with a two dimensional problem and uh, we go ahead with a laminar flow physics option. I click on laminar physics i add it and let us take time dependent one for the study so we create a geometry where a fluid will be flowing suppose i want to work in a, a length scale of centimeter and i right click to create the geometry say i create a rectangle of say one centimeter by one centimeter I build, click on build selected. I can go to the sketch option here and I can disable it so that it will be shown in solid block. So we have taken one geometry which is rectangle. We right click again. We take another rectangle, say its height would be 0.5 and the width would be 8 centimeter. It will be placed after this so we keep x equal to 1 centimeter so that this particular rectangle starts from this right edge and it I, I want to keep it at the middle and that is why I keep an elevation of 0.25 centimeter in the y direction I click on build selected you can see this kind of geometry is created and this could be a reservoir kind of stuff and this is the channel and there will be another sink in the right hand side so to make a sink we duplicate the first rectangle say this is the one we click on duplicate and we want to shift it so that it placed it is placed here so if the x has to be shifted by 9 centimeter 1 plus 8 9 so again i click on build selected and this is the entire geometry where we will be solving the fluid flow case. Now in laminar flow, uh, say we right click and keep an, in, an inlet, say this is the inlet. We can keep a pressure inlet, say the pressure is somewhere around 50, arbitrarily I am taking. And again we right click here, we click at outlet and say this one is my outlet no material has been chosen that's why uh, an error is showing here so instead of choosing material what we can do we can give the properties say rho and mu if i click here automatically water property will be taken by default so i have given the water properties so everything is defined now what i do when i go to mesh uh, i i can see uh, one option by default is there and that is your physics control mesh if you go here you can see there is option of user control mesh as well but the physics control mesh is the default option so whenever you find something as default that means it is the thing which you should try for the beginning and then uh, as you learn more you should try new options uh, so we just click on build all it will create the mesh now if I just zoom around the mesh, we can see few features of this particular meshing. What are those features? I just want to show you one by one. You can see the corner meshes are refined whereas uh, the meshes which are in the bulk, uh, you can say in the middle of the channel. So those meshes are little bit of higher size. At the same time, if you see this particular option so near the boundary wall the meshes are different and this is kind of a boundary layer mesh you can see these two meshes are rectangular kind of meshes 
and after that the triangular meshes are coming so when i choose physics control mesh it has automatically taken rectangular meshes near the boundaries it has taken triangular meshes uh, inside it that means uh, at the middle of the channel and it has refined at the corners uh, because of the fluid flow physics now how exactly or quantitatively we understand what are the things it has taken or what is going on in the background in order to do that in order to learn that what you need to do you need to right click on mesh and there is an option edit physics induced sequence so if i click here i will come to know what are the options comsol has automatically taken to achieve this particular physics so those are you can see uh, this is the global size uh, this is the corner refinement you can see at the edges at the corners the meshes are more defined because it has taken a corner refinement which is one of the attributes in comsol meshing it has taken free triangular mesh in the middle and additionally uh, so basically initially it has taken free triangular mesh in the entire domain and then it has superimposed boundary layers at the corners so as these boundary layers are chosen we see those meshes at the boundary i am showing you again so if i zoom here you can see uh, there are rectangular meshes near the boundary near the wall and this is because of the fact of taking boundary layer now uh, if you want to customize this for your case what you can do you can initially go to this edit uh, predefined mesh, mesh sequence and then uh, suppose i want to refine the free triangular mode i can right click and i can add another sub size for this particular option now it is chosen normal i choose a finer uh, you just you should have a look at it so this is how the meshes are now if i make it finer and click on build uh, build selected say then uh, you can see it is not working because okay let us uh, try again it's taken as general physics if i go to fluid dynamics and then if i do it should work yeah because when i am uh, just taking the size it is not understanding under which i am taking the size but when i define it is a fluid dynamics problem it understands the problem better and then the finer option is working and you can see now the triangular meshes are more fine and if i go to this boundary layer properties you can decide how many layers you want to put suppose i want to put by default it is two i want to put five so let us show me initially when it was two you had only two rectangular boxes you can see one two and then uh, converting into triangle again i will zoom so that this is one two and then triangle now i kept it five if i click on build all you can see now it is five one two three four five at the same time if you notice the initial meshes are little bit smaller compared to the uh, final one and this is again happening due to the predefined algorithm in comsol so I, would, uh, I hope that I am able to convince you if you go ahead with physics control mesh and then do a little bit of customization that will be the best option for your simulation and uh, one more thing uh, to, to, to for your information more attributes you add there will be more time requirement for your simulation so you need to optimize the number of options you are adding for your meshes not only meshes in any option so if i go ahead with the predefined option then it you can say it is little bit optimized and it will run the simulation in in a in a in a, in a optimized times uh, time and that will be helpful for you so i hope uh, this uh, video was helpful we'll come with another video or series of videos for on meshing thank you so much